What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Adverse on Xbox. Right now I'm playing on Xbox Series X, but you could also play on Xbox One or Xbox Series S. The game is published and developed by Lone Minded, and it released January 22nd, 2021, for a price of $5.99. So Adverse is a first-person shooter platformer, so definitely a, a, a two genres that I really enjoy. Um, so there's platformer and first-person shooter. Uh, so this, in this way, you have a fast movement system and also a lot of parkour, so it kind of reminds me of Mirror's Edge right away and also a couple other games that you might not have heard of, uh, Exotic and Bouncy Bullets as well as Refunct. Uh, those are some indie games that I, um, I kind of am reminded by, by this game already. Uh, I've only played the tutorial of this so far, but I'm definitely excited to get into it. Uh, I know this game also has a leaderboard system, so it is definitely good for speedrunners and stuff like that, and high score, you know, uh, high score kind of competitiveness. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into it here, and I'll show you guys the options to check out first. We have some music and sound options, nothing exciting there. And controls, I had to mess around with the controls a bit to be honest. Uh, they do have invert aim, thankfully. Um, aim assist, we'll leave that on for now. But uh, yeah, I had to change the sensitivity. It was really weird in the beginning, but anyway, luckily you could change it. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to do the tutorial again. Actually, you know what? We will do the tutorial again, just to make sure. Uh, I haven't played in a little bit, and uh, the game is out now, so now that I get it refamiliarize myself before we play the first level, which I haven't even played yet, so I've only done tutorial. Alright, so you can dash, you can double jump, you can press X to dash, and you can also mid-air dash, they're showing. Uh, each enemy destroy you destroy gives you points. You'll get adi additional points if you destroy an enemy at a distance, and the further away scale... Okay, so, and if you get hit by a projectile, you will lose points. Score is not just awarded for destroying enemies, as points are awarded for being the level quickly. Completionist bonuses are also awarded for destroying all enemies in a level. Alright, so definitely a very, like I said, score incentive uh, game. And it will be fun competing with your friends or on the global leaderboards. So that's cool that it has that. And uh, I already got hit. <laughs> I can't really see that like white text on the screen because the damn sky is so bright. But yeah, uh, I'm going to restart it. You know what? Let's just restart it. Why not? Even though the tutorial, we're not going to like really grade it on it. Um, I also might have missed something here, so I'm just going to double check. Uh, so that's cool. It shows up on your bow. That's like the UI within your screen. You don't have to look on the HUD. It's like right on your screen, like on the bow. That's kind of neat. Although you can't really pay attention to that well. Um, yeah, the controls, they're good, but they're going to be... I might have to mess with the... Um, sensitivity more. It's going to take a lot of practice to get used to. Um, another thing you can that I want to really do, and uh, in a first-person shooter platformer, I really want to jump with uh, left trigger or right, left bumper, but I don't, you know, the problem is I have A to jump, and I have to use my hand for the right stick. So how am I going to move, and I wish it was jump with left bumper or left trigger, or if they can add that in, that would be great. Just some feedback there, devs. So yeah, let's see. Um, yellow, green. Okay, launch pad. And on the right is a puzzle element. Running into a launch pad makes a vertical boost. Okay, you can get a vertical boost. Puzzle, shooting these will open different things. Okay, so the puzzle one is a blue one, and the launch pad is either yellowish green. <laughs> I guess they say that because you don't know they don't know what TV uh, color on your TV it's going to show up as. Uh, traps, there are various traps within Adverse. Uh, most commonly spike traps, oh yeah. We'll find those soon enough. Okay, so that opened something. This is the jump pad, and it didn't really jump us too high up, but that's the tutorial. Um... Yeah, we're not worried about score on the tutorial. Okay, they don't even score you on there. But anyway, guys, we're going to get into the uh, the beginning of the game here. And from the very top, I've never played the main game yet. I've only done tutorials, so this is all new. Oh, we got hit already? No, we didn't. Okay. I, I will say they, 
they really need, I don't know if in other worlds it's going to be different sky colors, but there has to be a way you can change the UI text, because I barely see that I got hit by that enemy. I guess that looks good for you guys. It's like, oh, it makes me look like I didn't get hit by the enemy, but um, I, in reality, I did get hit, even though uh, you guys might not be able to see that text. Oh, that was a pretty far shot. Oh, crap. Okay. Right, I gotta say, the controls are pretty good for movement. Um, not having a problem with that. It's just the aiming was well, it might have to mess with. Uh, oh, we got an achievement here. Completionist. Destroy all enemies in a level. Now let's replay the level and try to do it uh, fast as well. The cool thing is it's an instant restart, just like that. If I press the Y button, you can just instantly restart. And that is awesome, because I don't know, I mean, I'm on Series X, I don't think it matters. Um, I might have to try on the Xbox One as well, but that is awesome for a, a fast-paced arcade game like this with leaderboards. Like, you want to improve your time and, you know, keep restarting until you get that awesome start. So I, I gotta commend them for, like, a Y button instant restart. And I don't mean, like, load times. Like, look how fast you can load. I'm just happy about that. Like, Super Meat Boy loading, you know? But anyway... We're going to do it again and try to get a perfect, uh, fast, crazy time. Just for fun. But, uh, yeah, there's probably some achievements tied to speedrunning anyway in this game. We're going to try some cr some crazy stuff over here. Yeah, there we go. Probably not going to be in the top ten. <laughs> the game, uh, as of this recording... Okay, we're, we're not even going to be... We fell down there. Um, but, yeah, just... You know, it, it's that kind of competitive type of game already. I could see it. <laughs> Not going to make it in the top 10 yet, but eventually, maybe. But see, right there, that's my gripe uh, so far, uh, where I had to take my hand off the A button to turn. I really want to map it to a trigger or a bumper. Uh, I probably could do that with the accessories app. Oh, wow. I go in the damn door. Like, what the hell? I went to the side. All right, we made the top 10. Uh, top 100, sorry. Um, all right, we're just going to move on for now. So I wonder if you can get through without... Like, I wonder if you could beat the game without shooting anything. Like, in, in Mirror's Edge, you actually had to do that as a pacifism achievement or whatever. Um, we're just dodging everything. But yeah, there is uh, there's specific m miscellaneous achievements and stuff. Uh, I don't like how... Okay, landing on there. There we go. Also, the chill music in the background. Okay, so we got speed, we didn't get score. Enemies destroyed, zero. So, pacifist penalty. They even say that there. Nice. Alright, we're going to move on for now. Not going to worry too much about all of the, um, you know, shooting and movement, movement stuff. Just kind of getting through any way we can. Maybe I should shoot them, though a little bit better. Thing is, uh, probably have to adjust my aim again. It's it also knocks you back when you get hit. So yeah, let's let's try that again with shooting stuff. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, not gonna be able to hit that and move. I mean, this game you might need a uh, a mouse for. I don't think it's on Windows 10. But uh, it might... Well, it's on PC, but it... I mean, it's not Windows 10 Play anywhere. I don't believe so. Oh, can we get all of them? Come on. There goes my... There goes my run. Ah, oh, man. Well, I think we got all of them at least. But we didn't do well. <laughs> Try one more time on this level. So there is also, as you saw there, there's um, you got to aim higher. I forget what you call that, but bullet drop, I guess you can call it. Arrow drop. Depends on how far away you are, but yeah. Oh, yeah, we could also go right into the pit. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, I'm lining myself up for that, learning the level. Now I'm just going super slow, so I'm going to restart. I'm already getting addicted to this, like, just trying to perfect it. Like, fast, 
nope, I didn't do it fast enough. See, I'm not content with it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get past this level just because I'm going to keep restarting it. Nah, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll see more of the game. I'm just impatient. Like, stubborn. But yeah, maybe we have to change the sensitivity some more. I'm actually going to mess with that real quick. Uh, let's see. Sensitivity down a little bit. 26. Or, yeah, I'm going to do it on 16, actually. We'll try that. Let's see how that goes. I think that's better, even though I move slower. I just... Easier to, like, get those minimal movements. There we go. Although I missed that one. That's eh, alright. We're just going to move on. For the sake of trying uh, new levels and stuff. Oh, crap. I say that now, but this run sucks. Ready, I'm... Um, yep, here we go. Ah, come on. Once you get the right pattern and know where everything is in a level, it'll just smooth, you know, flow smoothly. Nope, not good enough. Not, nope. Oh, that might have hit, actually. Ah, j damn it. <laughs> yep, this is, this is going to be the death of me on this fucking game. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to miss this one. Watch. Yep. Yep. Okay, we, we still got it. We still got it. Whatever. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, crap. Whatever. Good enough. Damn. I really want to get that awesome run, just like perfect string it together, but uh, get a score of 2,000 plus in any official level. I'll take it. You know what? We got an achievement. We'll move on. <laughs> All right. Now, they say official level. I don't know if you have custom levels in this game or if that's only on, like, PC later on, but either way. Uh, ooh, we missed that. I kind of wish it showed how many enemies in a level until the... Well, you could look at that at the end of the level, but... Yeah, we're going to restart it. Man, imagine I can snipe a shot from here. There's actually an achievement to uh, to get a very far shot. I think I got one or two of them already, uh, in the tutorial even. But there's one I think you need to be really far for. We'll try that later on. Nope, that's not going to work. Nope. Nope. But yeah, I could definitely see this uh, being a little easier with a mouse and keyboard, to be honest. But uh, maybe we'll get used to it here. How do I... Wait, what? How do I do that part? There we go, that was sick. Oh, we got that too. Now I gotta mess, not mess this up. Oh my goodness. I'm, yep, I messed it up. I had a perfect shot and two things, and then I messed it up. Of course. Go figure. This reminds me of Hanzo from Overwatch. I wonder if they were inspired by Hanzo and be like, oh, let's just make a game where you have arrows and uh, platforming as well. Oh, crap. Nah, this is, now I'm not doing good anymore. Ah, come on. Nope. I am like, <laughs> I'm not going to get through this because I want to do well and not just beat the level only. That's the problem. That's the completionist in me. Oh, get wrecked. Right in your face. <laughs> Alright, we have to jump up here, do this little thing. Jump here. We missed an a enemy, but I guess that will have to do. How did I miss that one? Whatever. Jump there, save that jump. I missed one enemy, I think. Two enemies, where's the other one? Ah, eh, we'll, uh, we'll try that one again. Ah, 
Ah, oh, man. Oh, crap. What the hell? Nope. There we go. Okay, I got the hang of that one a little bit better. Um, see, I don't see where the other... Oh, hello there. <laughs> I was just hiding in that corner. And then this one. And then where's the last one? I don't see where the last uh, enemy is. Hmm. I got four out of five of them, though. Let's try that one again. We'll, tr we'll try to find this last enemy. Ah. Yeah, I should probably just explore looking for it before doing a speed run. So that's what I'm going to do this time. Just kind of find it first. <laughs> or fall. Either way. Oh my god, it's right behind me? Really? How the hell was that thing not shooting me the whole time? Wow. Okay, it's on the other side of this thing. Got it, okay. So you can shoot it from here, and then shoot that one for... Okay. Cool, cool. I think I got it now. How did I miss that, though? Okay, there. And then here. Or not. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Nope. I wonder if auto-aim turned off is better, actually. Ah, oh, man. Well, we're going to try that again, again. Again, again. <laughs> That's a new thing. Oh, there we go. This is on pace to be a good run, I think. If I don't mess it up. I'm going to try something crazy. Uh, I was trying to make it all the way, but... That was pretty fast, I think. Like, decent. And it was because I got another achievement there. Get a score of 3,000 in any official level. Sweet. All right, I think we'll move on now after doing that. Ooh, another achievement, too. We're getting it done. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> Destroying these enemies like boom, boom, boom in your face. Oh, <laughs> not that one. Spoke too soon. Uh, let's restart the level. Oh, man, these rotating platforms will just... Actually, here's, here's what we're going to try. We're going to go for the... Uh, I think there's another sniper achievement. I'll show you guys what I got so far. Uh, I know you guys, a lot of... Uh, myself included. We all like... Uh, a lot of us like achievements. So, um, here we go. Destroy 25 enemies. Get scores in the level. Three certain high scores. Um, destroy an enemy over 50 meters away. So, I think there's a higher one. I can check here in a second. Complete tutorial. Destroy 5 enemies. Destroy all enemies in a level and destroy enemy over 25 meters away. Uh, like I said, those are the ones I have already. These are the ones that I could unlock. So beat the certain worlds. Um, obviously, just get through story progression. Destroy an enemy over 85 meters away. So that's going to be like a sniper one. I like the Call of Duty or whatever reference you got there. All gillied up. Um, I remember that was a mission in one of the Call of Duty games. Uh, adept platformer get a combined score of 30,000 in official level. So that's cool. There's different uh, tiers for like going for leaderboards. So as you're going for high scores on the leaderboards, you're going to be getting achievements as well towards them. So here's 50,000 and then there's probably a higher one, 75,000. But what else is there? Real quick before we get back to it, I know uh, I want to spend a little time showing the achievements as well. Uh, destroy mounts of enemies and... Yeah, just a lot of score-based stuff. Progressing, score combo, destroy lanterns. I guess score combo, you have to do it fast without missing or without stopping. Uh, let's see. Okay, wow, this one. 
250,000 total score. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. If you beat the levels and do well on them, you might get all the achievements in the game. So be fast and, you know, kill all the enemies quick, and you might be able to get the full thousand. I'm going to definitely be trying for it, because I'm enjoying this game so far. I'm surprised as well um, that, honestly, this game, for the price, $5.99, is actually a really good value. Uh, not saying for the devs to make the price any higher for people, but uh, I'm just saying that a lot of people, I hope, uh, pick this up, because for the, you know, there's games that are much more expensive that don't have that are not this fun and that, you know, I'm just saying this game is pretty fun so far. Uh, especially for the price. So, job well done with that. Um, also, I don't know how I made that. I made that one too, so let's not mess this up. I don't know if this is going to be fast enough, but we shall try. But yeah, it's good to know there's a lot of levels, like eight worlds, and each one, this is still the first world. So there's a lot of content in the game, and online leaderboards. So, really, what more can you wait? Can you ask for? Well, I guess you could say online multiplayer, but you know, racing someone directly. But you know, that that would probably need a higher uh, budget or whatever. Maybe DLC or uh, updates in the future. Who knows? I'm not the devs. You'd have to ask them, or if uh, if the devs watch this and uh, want to take feedback, by all means. There we go. We beat World One. Let's move on to World 2. And right away, this reminds me of uh, Bouncy Bullets, this level. I know uh, I mentioned it earlier. That game was by Radalaka, and it was a pretty fun one also, um, where you just, like, first-person platformer shooter. And um, I don't know what, what games this one's inspired by, but I'm guessing Mirror's Edge and... I don't know what else, actually. But yeah, Mirror's Edge is one everyone knows. Most people, I would hope. Most gamers, at least. I don't know if I got hit there. So yeah, like I said, so far, I really... Oh, <laughs> that's my fault for falling. I really don't have many gripes with the game. The only thing is, like I said, the, the mouse and keyboard would be a lot easier, I think, for this type of game. Unless you got you can mess with your control sensitivity a lot and figure it out. I might have to mess with it more. It still feels pretty good. But yeah, that's one thing. Um, a minor, very minor thing is that the text on the screen is hard to see. See here on this level, it's a little better because it was against a tree. But the first level of worlds, like it was all in the sky and it would be hard to see the white text. And then another thing I think I mentioned uh, earlier was the control for like jumping. I really wish it was left bumper or left trigger. I might have to change that manually through the accessories app, but it would be nice to have it in the game as an option, uh, you know, in-game. I don't know why that part is falling every time, but I will try to... Can we get it? Nope, we can't. But this bridge is going to fall out, isn't it? I guess we have to jump as we're doing that. Oh, wow, I don't know how I did that. No clue. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, man. See, I'm learning learning process. I'm just seeing what happens when you land on certain objects. Like that bridge we learned that falls, apparently. See, there we got hit, but... Uh, let's actually try the sniper <laughs> far achievement. I see it's on the tree. So let's really see how high this bullet drop is. If we can get it from here. Uh, that'll be cool. I really want to know how close we are to it. If I do it and back up from here, maybe this one? Let's see. I'm looking really closely to see how far we are. I'm going to aim at this part here. No, that's not far enough, is it? I don't even think we're lined up. Um... I'm gonna try this for a little bit, just for the just for fun. Maybe a little lower. Actually, gotta move back a bit and then try it, just so we're further. Man, this is. <laughs> if someone could pull off this shot in like a regular run, I mean, oh my goodness, that's just insane. If we just keep moving back. 
and keep our aim lined up, we might just hit it like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I feel like we're getting close to it. <laughs> oh man, I'm waiting for that thing to pop. And that achievement to pop, but I don't know. I'm just going to try this for a little bit, otherwise I'll go back to actually playing the level. But I'm really interested to see if this works now. Because I think we're far enough for the achievement to get it if we are if we do hit that thing. Also, that will help you guys uh, in like an achievement guide type of thing. Um, you know, you'll be able to stand in the right spot as well. And try for it. I feel like we're aimed exactly at the right spot. Let's see. Not much further back I can go, unless I change my aiming like lower down. But, I don't know. Just wish it was an indicator to see how far I am. Man, I'm waiting for that thing to just blow up. got to be here somewhere. Come on. Oh, we can't go further back. So I'm just going to stay way back here in the corner and just change my aim every so often and see how we can get it from here. Oh my god, that actually looked really close. Holy hell. Oh wait, it fell short, right? Let's see. Nah, it fell short again. Although I got the right angle? I think? Oh man, it looks so freaking close. Oh! Oh man. This is gonna be like the whole, the whole video here is gonna be me doing this, right? Oh, man. Probably not, but I do want to try for a little bit. I, I can't get the exact... Maybe there? Is that directly above it? That's so damn close. So close. I feel like we're almost there. Man. Let's see it from here. Ah, oh, man. I can't turn it a little, little bit. I just want to turn it a little bit. Hmm. That one was too high, I think. Hmm. Maybe not. This is rough. This is a... I don't know if I can get it from here. If I just back up a little... I, I backed up and now I move my aim again. Hmm. You gotta have really good vision <laughs> to see this thing. Why am I doing this to myself? It's for you guys. If I can get this achievement, you guys know where to stand and aim. So we'll see if we can pull it off. And hopefully it's far enough. I don't know if it will be. Man, it's it, it looks like it's really, really, really close. Uh, like, I think it's lined up. And we're almost by the fence, so I can't really go any further there. See, that's the problem. I would have to go a little higher up like that from here. Higher still. Maybe way higher? That's too high, right? Let's see. Oh, man, that was... Very, very close, I think. Does this thing even work? Come on. 
My goodness, this is ridiculous right now. It's got to be like a sweet spot right there. Is it not? That's falling short of it? Oh, man. This is crazy, though. If that thing pops, I'll be so happy right now. Hmm. Maybe just aim it all the way up on the tree here. Oh my god! I got it! Yes! All gillied up. There we go. There's the achievement. So that is exactly where you aim. I'm not even moving. Uh, I'm all the way in the corner of the fence in the back left here. So if you just play this level, which is... Uh, I'll check after to make sure which level that was. But uh, this is the sweet spot right here. And you're right in the corner. So I can't move. I, I hold down and right all the way. So I'm in the corner and I can't actually move anywhere basically I'm in the corner of the fence basically right there and I aimed at the part where you saw before of course it was somewhere in that vicinity but you can see it in the video and that is how you get the all, all of the sniper distance shots so uh, I might upload uh, separately the that achievement just as one spot to do it uh, I think it makes it easy enough because it's like that corner so you don't you know exactly how far back you are um, but yeah Gonna restart it though. That was a shit ton of points for that shot. I should probably have. Ca you know what? I'm gonna try it again because I'm crazy. If we can get the right spot and then get a good run, we can get a lot of points. Was it right here? Let's see if I could do it again. I mean, I don't really want to do it again, but kind of want to show you guys just again to. You can always rewind it anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to start off the run like that, and then and then do the rest of the run. But either way, you guys get the idea. All the way in the corner, and then I think it's high up like that. Somewhere around here, maybe higher up still. Why am I doing this again? Don't even need to be. Uh. But anyway, okay, so you guys get the idea. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> Can at least hit it from here. Okay, good. This one I can hit from... Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> it's a falling platform. God damn it. Forgot about that. It's been so long since I saw that bridge because I stayed back the whole time. There we go. And this one I can probably get from here. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Nice. I got that one mid-range. See if I can get up here safely. I don't think there was any more enemies. Did I get them all? Four out of four. Sweet. 1950 overall score on that one. So I like that you can go back and... Uh, oh, but before I move to the next level, I'll show you guys what level that was. So that was World 2 Woodland. I believe... Um, no, hold on a second. Okay, it was the first level in World 2, I believe. Yes, it was. First level in World 2. So that's how you do the sniper achievement. But anyway, we are going to go to <clears throat> level 2 in World 2 to continue on. Because I am enjoying this game a lot so far. I could definitely see myself going for the 1,000 and uh, maybe getting, um, getting some high leaderboard scores or times or whatever. Because in the process of getting the achievements, you're going to be getting a fast time if you're going to go for that. So yeah. I don't know how I got through that unscathed, but okay. Uh, wait, are these enemies on the ground? No, they're not. 
I don't know what that did. I feel like there's a secret up here. Hmm. You know what? Let's explore. I don't know if this game has secrets like that type of thing, but... Hmm. Eh, anyway. But yeah, I actually just recently uh, made a video for another game a little similar to this too, now that I think of it, called Air Bounce. Uh, there, was a, there was a game where it's first-person platformer. Not shooter at all, but it was kind of cool. That one was a fairly easy thousand. This one is going to be a lot tougher. Also, because I just failed <laughs> again. You know, I totally forgot about my uh, dash. <laughs> no wonder. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's a little hard to see uh, on the bow when when you're using your ability, and uh, I could I wasn't paying attention to it. Not that it's hard to see technically, just when you're. What I mean is, it's you know, as you're trying to play, you don't always look at that as well. But uh, there is that level done. We missed an enemy. Huh? Eh, I could always come back to it. Not a big deal. Let's just move on for now. Oh, hello there. And up here. There we go. Crap. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, there. Got it. There's a bounce pad? Oh, hello. Oh, crap. <laughs> yep, that's... That's not gonna work. See, I gotta get used to my... There is a cooldown on the dashes, as you saw there. On your bow, you can see the cooldowns. I'm um, hit by enemy there. Yeah. Okay. This guy's going to appear in the middle, though. I think somewhere over here. Or I can get him before he sees me. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. I could have actually dashed into the finish line. Um, I, I need to make use of that ability. But yeah, I would I would definitely uh, I guess dash with X is fine because you're not taking your your other finger off. But the A button and the right stick you need both of those for the for your you know for your thumb. So I think that. You know, if you'd be able to customize all of the controls in the game, that would be great. Just, like, map any button to whatever you want. That would just be my recommendation. But yeah, minor gripes aside, I'm really enjoying this game, and I hope you guys check it out as well. Where is this little path taking us on the side here? Uh-oh! <laughs> it's taking us to our death. Ah, man. Could have had a good run. It'd still be decent, I guess, if I can beat the level. There we go. Oh, man. No way. Man. Ha! Huh. Could have jumped across the other side. How did I miss that again? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a little more used to the controls now. There we go. There's a guy around the corner here. Yep, that guy. And where else is their enemy? I don't see him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got all the enemies. That was a pretty fast time. 
top 50 so far. Of course, I can always go back and replay levels and add, you know, faster time to it for towards the leaderboard and the achievements. Uh, and at least it's not leaderboard achievements, like technically. You just have to get scores that are like par, par scores or something, uh, essentially. You're not really competing for number one or anything on a leaderboard. Uh, like for an achievement, I mean. Like if you want to compete on the leaderboard for being number one, then that's all great and fine. But I'm glad they didn't tie being on the leaderboard to a uh, achievement, because we all know and hate games that do that. <laughs> Ghost Recon, I'm thinking of you. <laughs> Good old Ghost Recon 360. That game had a world champion leaderboard achievement. Not fun. I never never will get that, ever. No thanks. It just takes way too long to even bother for. But anyway, without without that, uh, we're not worried about that game right now. Man, what the hell? I thought I would be able to hit that one. Can I get it from here? Yeah, I got it. Nice. Oh, I didn't get my dash back in time. Oh! Oh, no, no, no! I don't know where that thing was. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the dash indicator could be a little easier to see as well. Maybe with a different color or... I'm not sure. Like, just having a different little bar of a different color on it to signify when I can use it again. Like I said, minor gripes, but things that would make it easier, more accessible, I think. Well, I missed those enemies, but we got to the end. And we got another achievement. Oh, we completed the second world already. Uh, obviously, they, the levels so far aren't that hard to get through, but if you want to get you know high scores on them, you got to do them in a fast, challenging way, basically. So I like that aspect. Uh, there probably will be still just you know hard worlds later on, but this is only the third world so far. And I say that as I jump into the water. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a good fast run here. Like, skip that one and jump again. There we go. I don't know if there's a enemy there. Oh, crap! Oh, I just used my dash to save, my, save myself there. That was lucky. Okay. Uh, come on, dude. Really? <laughs> really? Alright. Dash into the exit. I'm gonna do that one again. I got all the enemies, but... Uh, oh, I got 50 enemies, actually, as that achievement. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know if I get hit by that. Gotta be careful, though. Oh, that would have been a fast run if I would have gotten that, but nope. Oh, well. Damn it. I messed up there, too. Oh, my God! I messed up there as well. I just went right past, dashed into the water. That was fun. Oh, man. You know, I just realized another path I could take here. We don't even need to go on the platform on the right. That's the beauty of this game, too. You can find your path in the level that you like. Try to t take, like, a shortcut. Try to explore your own uh, paths or whatever. Try to get up there from here. Nope. Oh man, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell am I going? I, I just dashed into... The, I didn't even mean to go that fast, but okay. I'll take it. 
an adept platformer. Okay, well, I'm going to do that level again because we almost broke the top 10 on that one. That was cool. I like the flow on this level. Like, if I could do this without stopping... Oh, yeah. Well, sort of. Uh-oh, nope. Messed it up. Still not bad. Definitely uh, got some room for improvement there. This is a fun level. Once you learn, like, the right route and whatnot... Oh, I missed. Nope. If I can hit that one from here as I'm aiming. Oh, wow, I did. Holy hell. I don't know how that's going to be, but maybe fast. 39.65. I kind of want to get 4,000 on this one now. See if it's possible. I almost hit that one. Damn. It's not going to be fast. Nope, not fast enough. This level's got me hooked already now. Gotta get that right timing. Oh man. Well, that was a little quicker. 45.30. Oh, snap. Uh, what am I at? 45. Okay, so. We didn't quite make. Let me see here. How do I see my score? It's not letting me see it. I guess I didn't crack the top 10, but it's showing my score. Okay, it's a little below that, probably. We're going to try one more good run here. Get a good run. No, we got hit. That wasn't a good run. Nope. Damn it. Now I can't do it again. Oh, that might hit. Oh, man. It did. Holy hell. It did. And then I fell and messed it up. Oh, that's so close. Nope. Probably not. Damn. I got that flow, though. Ah, oh, man, I can't do it anymore. Nope. I, I just had that perfect run, and now I can't do it. Ah, oh, man. What the hell? thought I hit it. Okay, I'll take it, whatever. Not the furthest shot, but... As, he said, as I said, you get more points for... Far shots and stuff like that. And also not getting hit. How did I miss that one? You know what? We're just going to go without shooting that last one. That actually worked. Got higher up, but um, we're going to try again. I'm like addicted to this uh, level now. Definitely a lot of replay value in this game. I could have been on World 4 already, but I'm just trying to do a good time on score on this level. Nope. It's those last two that I have trouble with, too. I wonder if that will do it from that far. No? Nope. Oh, how did I miss that? What the hell? Well, I got a higher score and got another achievement. Oh, if that hits, that would be amazing. Ah. Oh. 
Nope. I want to hit that one so badly from far. I guess it'll be epic if I can make that run with that one. Just don't have enough time to, like, reach to it. Oh, snap! And then I fell, see? <laughs> yep, of course. Go figure. That would happen. Oh, my goodness. Come on, dude. I, I just can't aim on the easy one now. I'm trying to do it without getting hit. Okay, there we go. Slightly better, but nah, not anymore because I missed that one. Oh, come on. That's beauty right there. Yeah! But I don't want to fall! <laughs> Rip headphone users. Oh, shit. That was perfect. Come on, man. BS. Oh, come on. This is a good run. 4650. That's not quite top 10, but you know what? I'll, I'll keep it there for now. That's good enough for now. Um... But let's get on to the next level here. Also, can you... Uh, I wonder if... Oh, you can't skip world now. You can't skip levels. You just gotta progress. But it's easy enough so far to get through. Uh, I've been just going fast for fun. But let's uh, see if we can't beat world 3. Sure we can, but I'm gonna s start getting addicted to a level again and try to do a high time. Of course. Or get hit by spikes. Wow, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Ah, that, that messed up my score. I thought those go directly into the water. I guess I was safe with that. Oh, that was lucky. Not gonna lie. There we go. Ah, I can't hit this one. Oh, no, no, no! No, I'm so close to the exit. Are you kidding me? Ah, you son of a whore. <laughs> oh, man. What the hell? The rage begins. I mean, I could easily jump past this, but I want to kill those things. I just want to get this nice shot from here. Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. That was sweet. How did I miss that one? Come on now. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be a good, good one now. How is there also another one behind me? I didn't see it. Yep. Crappy run. Uh, th yeah, there's one there. Okay. Oh, I missed. What? Ah, uh, yeah, bullet drop. That's right. Oh, well. This run is going to suck, but... Oh, well. I don't want to dash over the exit. We'll do one more run on that. Well, no, no, we're not. Oh, there's uh, someone I know from TA, by the way. Ink Splitters. Shout out to them. I just happened to notice their name. Uh, let's move on, though. I'm not going to worry about leaderboard at this time. Oh. I say that now. <laughs> but you know me too well. Oh, that would have been sweet. I'm just going to pass it for now. Whatever. Nope. It's, like, so easy to pass them, but I just have that thing, like, doing the level well. <laughs> so I don't want to... I don't want to just get through it. I want to do good. Ah... Nope. 
Oh, that would have been sweet from there. There we go. Nice. Oh, I see one on the wall. Uh-oh. Oh. Hopefully that doesn't go into the water. Oh, this is... This one's rough. Oh, wow. Got that shot. Damn. This is going to be a rough one. How am I going to hit that as it moves there? I guess I could go across... Oh, man. Oh, you son of a... No. No, no, no. Oh, man. This one's going to make me rage. Trying to get it well. Yep. If I could get that one over there, okay. Whatever. I'm just going to progress. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, you can. You can skip it if you want to. It's just not going to give me a good score, probably, but... I'm going to do it. Oh, wow. You actually do get a pretty good score. <laughs> Who would have thought? I skipped a lot of enemies, and I got... Really fast time because of the bonus there. So let's try that. Uh, ah, we're just going to move on. I say that again. I'm just going to move on for now. Uh, I'm addicted to this game, guys. I got to say. Adverse is, is pretty damn awesome. Oh. I've, I've gotten pretty used to the controls now. It might take a bit in the beginning, but rest assured they have a uh, control sensitivity thing. So, you know, it's easy to get the hang of after a while. Fit it to your own liking. These go into the water. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't think I'm ready to jump across. Ah. Uh, I thought I had my air dash still. Nope. Okay, oh well. There we go. Alright, that was a crappier score, but it's fine. Are these going directly into the water, or not? Oh, man. Yeah, I can't get those. I really want to try to get those, though. How am I going to do this? If I aim it from here, as I start the level? That would be sick if I can do that, though. Now, a little higher. Hmm. Oh, did I get one of them? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> it tricked me. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a little little tough to get it from that far. I don't know what's going on here. Come on. Yeah, I don't know about these platforms or these things here. Might just have to wait on it. Okay, we got one of them. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh, we got spike traps. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> yeah, this is... uh. Okay, try this again. What the hell? That's my fault. Ah. Nope. Not even going to bother. I'm just going to pass those. <clears throat> oh, right over that. Oh, that was sweet. 
Come on, get it. Oh, uh, now it starts moving? I didn't think it was going to move. I actually thought I was alright with that. Oh, I missed it. Of course, that thing behind me, I should have shot it. Yep, I knew it. I probably should wait and be patient, but, you know, <laughs> I don't do that. I'm not patient. Not like, I just want to get the run started already. Come on. Nope. Oh well. Wait, where? Oh, there it is. That's right, it's in the wrong, it was in the other side. Oh, how did I fall in the pit there? I didn't see that. You know, I really want to kill those things there. Come on, dude. I don't like that you could fall in the middle of those platforms, though. kind of wish it was a solid, like, spinning platform. I'm fine with it being spinning, but the, the side is weird. Oof, that was close. Alright. There we go. Now we have to get this thing, otherwise we're dead. Oh my goodness, what the hell just happened there? I have no idea. Well, we made it. And I think that's the end of that world. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's three worlds in the game. There's still, uh, I think another, was it eight worlds? There's eight worlds total. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of content in this game. I'm enjoying it so far. By um, Definitely up by a lot. I have more than I expected. I mean, I knew I would like the game, but I'm really getting addicted to going for these leaderboards and achievements. Uh, you know, going for fast scores and fast times and stuff like that. So it is easy enough to get through the levels just beating them. Uh, but if you want a challenge, then that's there here. Uh, there for you as well. And, um, you know, compete with your friends or uh, online with others uh, to try to get the top scores in the world. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, Adverse is a pretty cool game. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for watching the video. I think I'm going to stop it there. Um, and thanks again uh, also to uh, the publisher, Lone Minded, who provided a code of their game here, Adverse. So thanks again, everyone. Um, and also, make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. Uh, that way you'll know when my future content comes out. Um, hit that bell so you get notified. And I appreciate all the support. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.